this is Wayne here with Tri-County Locksmith Service and uh, I want to talk about safe locks. Uh, so if you're thinking about ordering a safe, be it a home personal gun safe, uh, jewelry safe, burglary safe, fire safe, uh, or a safe for your business, uh, it's always a good idea to know exactly what you want and what you're getting with these different products. Um, here we have the good old fashioned Sergeant Greenleaf. This is an R6700 series. Uh, and this thing was, you know, this was in service on a safe that was open daily for years and years and years and years and years and, years and um, continued to work just fine. Um, this one, they wanted to upgrade or they wanted to switch to a uh, electronic safe lock simply because they wanted to change the combination themselves and have it be a little more easy to access. When you have a safe that's bolted to the ground, uh, you know, it does become difficult to do that. So uh, for their application, installing an electronic lock uh, was going to meet their needs. A, they're in a business environment. They're in a commercial environment where they're going to be opening it multiple times a day, and they're going to have employees that are rotating through you constantly. So they're going to want the option to change that without having to call a locksmith out. That is where the electronic lock shines. Um, it does give you those advantages and offer those options to you. Uh, however, it does bring uh, a little bit of, of um, stigma with it that it is an electronic device and electronic devices can fail and do fail. Um, it, it happens quite often, more often than you would probably e expect. Um, these locks can fail. This is the ESL 10 and this is the one that I choose to use. It's the one that I've seen the least failures with, uh, but they have, there are some instances where these have failed too. Uh, the Sergeant Greenleaf um, mechanical, three wheel mechanical lock, this is one of those locks that you can open. And this is a perfect example because this one's been through the dirt, rough and tumble. It's been through uh, a long life. You can open this lock twice a day for 30 years and never have a problem with it whatsoever. Uh, it's just going to work no matter what. Uh, you know, some of the things that people bring up are EMPs, uh, nuclear blast, things like that. Uh, that's where these electronic locks are going to fail or at least offer a question of uh, whether, they, whether they will work or not. Um, without putting them through that particular uh, testing, I wouldn't know. I would not expect this lock to work if uh, an electrical pulse uh, device or a, a nuclear device went off. Uh, I would expect this one to, uh, simply because it's mechanical. I mean, at the roots and core, uh, having that mechanical engage system is really, really nice. If your electronic lock does go bad, if something happens and it's inside the safe and it goes, and this is pretty much what uh, it looks like in there, uh, if this part goes bad, then there is no other option but to drill the safe, and that can become very expensive, uh, very quickly. Uh, it, you know, the average the average safe drill is going to be 250 to 500 dollars, just depending on what kind of safe it is, uh, and where it's located at, and how difficult it is going to be to do that. So those are some of the things that you need to think about. I have yet to drill a safe because a mechanical lock has failed. I have had to drill a safe with a mechanical lock because they lost the combination, but I have yet to drill one because it has actually 100% failed. Uh, I have a box full of electronic locks, not this particular make and brand. There are some other brands out there uh, that come on your more common big box store type of safes, um, and those go out all the time. Uh, I literally have a box this big, uh, just level, level full of them. Uh, because that's what that's what happens. Uh, they want something that's mass produced uh, and made cheap and um, That's just how it is. So as far as I'm concerned, I highly recommend for for home use uh, the um, Mechanical style like this here if you've got a gun safe or a jewelry safe that you're only going to get into every now and then uh, This would be a great option if it's just not working to have something like that and and you have other people that need to have access to it um, you know, a, a wife or kids and they just find this too difficult to deal with, the electronic option is great that it's there, but do be prepared uh, that at some point in time that, that this lock uh, can and will fail, um, whereas these will, will not. So 
Um, that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, the third option that's becoming more and more popular now uh, is this option from Secure RAM. Uh, this is the Safe Logic Extreme. So what this does is it offers the best of both worlds. Uh, it gives you the ease and convenience and the ease to change your own combination and do all that thing of the electronic lock um, with the safe and sound security of the mechanical backup. Uh, basically, if all else fails and all the electronics go out, EMP device, nuclear device, anything like that happens um, and blows all the electronics out of that one, uh, this here would still offer a alternative backup for that. So let's, let's try to set that up straight like that. So this one has the uh, the electronic um, aspect to where it can be controlled electronically uh, and then if everything goes out the door instead of having to drill the safe we do have the option to dial that mechanical uh, lock in and get that thing opened and then go ahead and, and work on it and replace it so the number one advantage to this is simply spending the extra money on this is your insurance policy to not have to drill the safe to be able to open it uh, if you have to drill a safe, well, number one, your stuff is probably most likely in there. And you have some sort of reason for wanting to get in there at that particular time anyway. So it's going to be your insurance policy for uh, getting to your stuff, or if you're a business owner, getting to your cash and your money to operate for the day uh, and not have to wait for a safe technician to come out there, which could be hours or even days uh, before somebody could get out there to drill that safe open for you. It's one of those things that's just um, that not everybody does that kind of stuff. So for the extra money, I think these are running about 400, 490, something like that, um, 420. They're just over $400. Uh, but for that price, you're going to get a little extra peace of mind and know that when you want to get into your safe, you're going to be able to uh, under any circumstances whatsoever because it combines the two. Uh, this lock right here is a extremely uh, good functioning commercial grade safe lock. Um, I do recommend this, but just do pre be prepared that the, even these can go out. Uh, and this is about a $220 lock right here. Uh, the good old fashioned three wheel mechanical lock like this right here um, I think these things are running right around $100, $150, just depending on which one you get. Some of them have key options, etc., etc. Uh, so $100, uh, roughly $220, and then uh, roughly $450 right in there. Um, that can fluctuate just depending on how on the on the market and how many are available. But this is how uh, the the safe industry is evolving. And we're starting to see uh, good quality products like this come out to where we're getting uh, the, the mechanical functionality and reliability with the convenience of the electronic aspect. So that's it. Uh, I hope that helps you make a decision when you're purchasing your safe uh, to what you need and what is going to be most convenient for you. Uh, thanks for watching and check out the website below. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact, leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and uh, subscribe share and like. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it.